Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how did I get the money for that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to, to help the club as well, mm -hmm. because maybe they need it. But it sounds like you were as surprised as us that, the, that they were prepared to sell you. Uh, but I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. it's my, you know what sometimes the destiny you mm -hmm. have to do? And, and yeah, and, and new challenge and new experience for me. I say, I say with my friends, with, I don't have, I don't have, um, I say plenty of times, I'm not the best player. I'm not the worst player, mm -hmm. but I'm strong. This, this chance they have to live in China, I know it's hard. Everyone in this world knows the, the culture is not, it's not easy, but I will try my best. Mm. And what I live in, I, like, I live a couple bad things as well, but I was keep going mm. and keep going and keep going. And, and this is what I want to, to say for the kids. Doesn't matter what's happened sometimes around you, you have to keep going because mm -hmm. my dream was to be the, soccer play, the best soccer player in Australia. And I get, and you know what? I made my mom the best, the most proud girl in this world. Mm -hmm. And I'm That's happy with important. that. If you want to, then if the other supporters, uh, of course, maybe a couple will miss me, others they are happy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If they want to blame me for what, for, because I move, I have to say, the, the was the best thing for the club and for me. Mm -hmm. okay. And the other thing is, I will come back to Argentina and buy one house for my mom. Great. If someone wants to blame me. Sure. Uh, but what about, what about this, you know, for every player there's stepping stones. So you take one step and then the next one beyond and beyond. What did it do for you uh, coming to Australia? Was it, in, in what way was it important? Did you, I think I read something when you were here saying it improved you uh, in, in a physical sense. To talk to us about the experience as a footballer, what it did. <clears throat> um, I couldn't, I, actually, um, when I received the offer from Australia, it was, was a little bit, Maybe a really, really big surprise. Mm. Um, in this part of the world, and you know you went to South America, in this part of the world, the soccer players just mm. think uh, it's England, Mexico, uh, Spain, and that's it. Mm. The world is there, the football mm. is there. Um, and, uh, um, and when I received the offer, I, I was thinking, and I tried to, to, to try to know more about the A-League, and when I type how many players, Argentinian players, the A-League have, and, and I heard now, Nothing. I say, okay, maybe it was a mistake. How many players in Pakistan? <laughs> Argentinians in, pa in Pakistan? Twenty. I say, how is possible? <laughs> and and then I try again. I, I was a little bit scared in the beginning for be the first one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I I was looking forward. I say, I will try to learn English. I couldn't. It's, it's, I know it's terrible my English. Don't say nothing. But <laughs> but the thing is, I wanted to come for learn English for and then. I say for my dad that always all my coaches say Marco Flores is good technique, good skills, uh, but he's skinny, but he's like that. And I, and I say, no, in Australia, I will work hard, okay. mm. I will complete my quality, and then I will do my best. I mm. will try to do my best. Mm -hmm. And this is a conversation I have with Vidmar. Vidmar was clever with me yeah. and said to me, Marcos, I want to, play, I want to make you play the number 10. And I said to him, give me three or four weeks for make my fitness good. Mm. And, and then we will start fighting together. Mm. And he was waiting for me. Mm -hmm. He put me in the right moment. And the things was natural. Mm. Maybe I, I find my second home, you know. Maybe I find my home in football. Mm. I, was, I was feeling uh, respect from, from, from the older players in the A-League. And I respect everyone, yeah. you know. And Marcos, you returned home on Friday and you saw the Reds uh, win, uh, which has been a little bit rare this season. How did you see their performance uh, against the Gold Coast? Uh, they were on the, the right side of the ledger, but their performances this season have been uh, less than a lot of the experts expected. Yeah, but it's a new team. You know what I mean? It's, it's more than 30% more new players. Mm. And they deserve my respect and, and they will do well, I hope, uh, because I have my ex mate there. I have amazing love for the club. Um, the game, I think they took the three point and this is the most important for the confidence and, and for what we expect about the team. Mm. Um, but they have to, they will improve and, and all the players have to w switch on and, and try to, to come back to, to fight for the, for the top positions. Were you surprised at how many players left uh, last year? I know you were one of them, but did you, did, 